today, Junior? Did I start on Bob, 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 poker face, Bob, 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 poker face. Ladies and gentlemen of the... Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Did I Stata? It's comedian Drew Lynch, and before we get started, I would like to actually plug something else for a change, and it's not even about me, so just relax. My buddy Justin Foster, if you've ever seen him, um, I'm I'll perform. I'm sure it, you know you enjoyed yourself. He opens for me a lot on the road, and he actually has a brand new comedy special coming out it's free it'll be on youtube on april 24th so 4 24 24 and it's going to be called cheap date so it's going to be amazing he's it's produced by my and shot by my buddy isaac abrams he shot my specials and uh he shot justin so feel free to check that out on youtube on the 24th of this month my buddy justin foster he's super hilarious so that being said let me go ahead and shamelessly. One second. So that being said, let me go ahead and plug my own dates. Coming up, guys, I am in Austin, Texas uh, for the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. And then I will be popping on over to Boston. And then I'm doing... Connecticut, which is always a challenge for me here in my mouth. And then I am uh, performing at the Netflix as a Joke Festival at the Blasco Theater. And then Phoenix, Arizona, Victoria, British Columbia, Vancouver, British Columbia, and then I'm popping on over to Buffalo, New York, and then um, Europe because I want to see what it's like to be uh, hairless in certain places. I'm going to change some things about about my body and and just get just get balder. Um so where we left off last week is that my wife traveled to see the eclipse because again her uterus is ruled by the moon. And she got mad at me that I didn't ask her about it. You know, we were we were we were just having a regular conversation on the phone. And it was banal. The, the conversation, it, it was just about banal things, okay? And I don't want you to think that I just learned the word banal, and that's why I'm using it right now. But I definitely know that what we were talking about, it, it was banal or banal. And she goes, I want you to, she goes, you, so you're not going to ask me about the eclipse? And I, I was like, um, what, I mean, I feel like I know how it goes. I think I know what happens. But you can tell me, I mean, you can tell me if you want, like, you could tell me about it. And she was like, yeah, I, I just, I, yeah, I wanted to tell you about it. And it sucks that you didn't ask. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you tell me about it? And she goes, well, the moon got in front of the sun. And I was like, Boy, I can't. I don't know what happens next. Is it? Is it still there? Right? Is it right there right now? Is it what happened? Did it get like darker for a little while? She was like, "Yeah," and then it, and then it moved away from it. And I was like, "Man, that, yeah, yeah." Well, um, okay. I mean, I'm sorry I didn't ask about that. Babe, that is that is one hell of a thing. Um, so I think the reason I didn't ask is because you know you didn't even ask about my day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I had a I had a hell of a day, and you didn't even ask. And she's like, "I'm so sorry. What happened with your day?" And I was like, "All right." So I was sitting at this restaurant, and this white car pulls up next to this other car. Okay, and this guy gets out. And he goes into the restaurant. And my wife was like, oh, my God, he's so he's double parked. And I was like, yeah, but hang on. He gets his to-go order from the restaurant, and he comes back outside, gets in his car, and then he just drove away. And she was like, oh, I, um, why did you tell me this? 
And I was like, because it's the exact same story. Do you understand? Nothing changed for you knowing this information. So... That was that was my eclipse. Okay. And then we and then we were and then we were quiet like how it is right now. Actually, <clears throat> a lot of mine and my wife's relationship is not very quiet. It's 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 actually very chatty. And I don't say much, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but uh, I'm I'm not the one that's talking that much. And my wife thinks that if I'm quiet for a second, it's because I'm plotting to leave her. It. No. No. No, babe, that's not it. Okay. Nothing. I know that nothing points to no no evidence points to. A man about to leave his wife other than, you know, buying her a house and 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 spending quality time with her in it and raising a dog together or two. But no, that's not it. I'm not ta I'm not saying anything because there's nothing in here. That's why. I'm a dude. That's it. I there's uh you're trying to you're trying to rob a vault that's empty, hun. Okay? I don't have, there's, there's, it's nothing in here. It's, it's football plays. That's it. My, my thought is how, 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 how are the Colts going to get pressure on opposing quarterbacks this season? That's my thought. You want me to say that? I'm trying to, the reason I'm not saying anything out loud to you is because I don't want you to leave me. That's why. I don't, if, if you, I'm a, I'm afraid that if I say my thing in my head that maybe happens sometimes, that you'll be like, like literally, if you if you walked into the living room of my head, you would be like, "There's an ottoman. That's it. You just have an ottoman." Yes, that's it. It's my ottoman empire. Okay. But that's all that's on my mind right now. It's just I don't have thoughts, and I'm not, and and I can't plan. I can't plan an outfit, babe. You think, you think I can. I can cobble together a U-Haul and a and a and, a, and an exit strategy and a and a, the uh, the number of a, a divorce lawyer that's not on a fucking bus bench. Yes, I don't I don't have it. Like I don't have thoughts. I have a wife. That's what I have. I have a wife who has thoughts, and those are my thoughts. I specifically got a wife, so I don't have to think anymore. That's why I went out and I and I <laughs> and I window shopped. And I was like, that one seems like she'll fill my head with a lot of stuff. And I and maybe I'll and maybe I'll learn something. <laughs> I didn't think twice or once at all. I would what do you think I what do you think I'm the world's worst hostage of all time? Do you think I don't know how to leave? If I wanted to leave, I would I would probably leave. You think I this you think this is just I'm just the world's worst hostage? I, I, uh, captive in, in a seven year long escape room I know how to get at I think I know where the door is I'm dumb but I, I know I think what a door is no I don't want to leave you I, I I got I have permanent damage in the cartilage of my knees because I I, I, marry, I asked you to marry me so hard chill chill dude chill it, it's 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 called it's called peace and quiet that's all that's i'm trying to get in my inside my head face is just i want some i just want inner peace not outer loudness okay i love you now you sh shut your mouth you shut your shut your beautiful mouth. All right? I have no we don't have we don't we don't okay? Occasionally I'm barren in my I'm barren with 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 thought. No, I'm 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 I you would think I'm barren with how few brain childs I have. And I know the plural of child is children, but 
you know, maybe this is like a fish, a fishes, fishes situation. <laughs> okay. Later on this episode, guys, we're going to travel into some, some things that I wrote down that are some handy Midwest phrases that I think that, I think, I think you could spruce up your, you know, your vernacular a bit. And I'm, I'm interested in when you travel to the Midwest, you know how to communicate with us. And yes, these are things that I invented, but I guarantee you if I say them in the Midwest, people are not going to give me a second look, not a chance. They'll look me right in my eyes and they'll shake my hand and they'll say, that's a, that's a man with a past. He has a foundation of who he is. That's what they'll say to me. They'll hire me on the spot. I won't even be applying. And they'll be like, do you want to work at Discount Tire? And I'm like, you know what? Nothing, I would have no greater honor than to serve this company, but um, I'm just here for a torque wrench and a flashlight battery. And they're like, I'm sorry, did you say flashlight? And I was like, I did say, uh, yes, I did say flashlight. I'm, but just out of coincidence or um, curiosity, is it the same battery? Flash, flesh? Um, I've never used a flashlight. Is there a battery at the end of it? Is it, is it, is it solar powered? It, should I be concerned? I mean, I probably have nothing to worry about unless the batteries are on the around sides of it, you know? Bit of a girth guy myself, you know? But, I mean, are, are, are certain people in danger or violation of certain battery parameter depending on you know the 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 weight limit of one's equipment you know are we are we in are we are there certain do you know what i'm saying like are we going to be able to weigh this box at fedex or or you know what i mean are you going to am i going to have to pay the baggage fee that's what I'm saying. I don't know how I don't know how I don't know how flashlight is, but I would just I mean, and I'm we don't need to talk about this anymore. I just my my subconscious wandered into a place that I guess I'm at. You know, it's like when you discover uh, a room in your grandparents' manor, you know, and they're not even like your blood relatives, but you call them your grandparents because, you know. Your dad knew him from like a from like a neighbor of a fishing trip or something, and so they're like, "Yeah, come on over to our place or whatever." And you you called him grand you call him grandpa grandma and grandpa because they they send you stuff for Christmas. But you know, they're they're you you and then you're like thirty and you find out that you were never related and you're like, "Oh, those are just those are just people who let me drink their chocolate milk straight from the carton." That's pretty insane. But it's a lot like when you wander into their like spare spare bedroom like their spare bedrooms spare bedroom that it's like when you wander in there and you're like i don't know where i am what is and there's just there's just boxes and 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 promotional cutouts of grandpa in here this feels weird what you know why is there is there like an empty room it has like a dead lamp and a and a yoga ball. You know, you know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, let's head on over to a That's My Gripe. That's my, my, that's my gripe. What the f***? That's my gripe. That's my, my, my gripe. So I've been in a lot of hotels pretty much my whole life. And isn't that like the most privileged way to try and seem like you have adversity? <laughs> Oh, man, I was just growing up. It was from Hilton to Hilton. And um, back when I was staying there, it was just it was just one tree. Yeah. And it was up it was up at the crest of a mountain. It was the original one tree hill. Okay. Um, so I, I'm in a lot of hotels. And this is something that I've pretty much noticed with my eyes is. Um, can can. Can I just be in the gym without the maids coming coming around the gym to clean it? No matter what time of day or night you show up at the gym, the maids are there. 
and they're not really doing real tasks, you know? It's like mom tasks. It's just, you're just occupying the space with your energy, okay? Stop it. Stop that. Stop. You folded that towel already. You don't think I've never been in retail? I've worked in a gym. I know where you go. I know I know where you can go and you find that little corner where there, where there isn't a camera. Yeah, you're like directly underneath it and you're rearranging the apples or whatever. I know that. I and they go to that they they go they go they come in and they all they all look like they're like pushing something. Da, 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 da. You know, why is the storage right next to the gym? Why is the whole storage for the hotel through the gym? Can we not it's just if you really look at it a a, a gym that is not used, which it it's only used by me. It's me and cleaning ladies. That's it. I'm 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 sweating for whole families of people just coming in with the same outfit on. It's like and I just see them and they're 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 like they could not make me feel like I do not I don't belong there. Do you know what I'm saying? They it they're they're squeegeeing around my feet when I'm when I'm doing a squat. Can you like you know what I mean? They're like moving my, you know, they're like moving my my stuff aside to try and you need to clean it right now. It's a gym. Let it be let it be dirty. Just let it be dirty. Who cares? Okay? P- like go find another just please. You know, you're on the elliptical and they come in and they'll find something, they'll get the remote and they'll 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 you know, they'll type in a whatever like oh this is what needs to happen and then they'll they'll check that the water works and they'll rearrange some stuff and then you know fake mop it's it's just it's frustrating let me let me let me work it out all right let me sweat let me get it done here all right let me just feel like a like i need the gym i here i need the i need to be by the i need to be in the gym by myself because it is the only time where I feel like I am I am I am a big boy. I don't like being in the gym when other dudes are there being louder and more aggressive with their muscles and their and their loudness. I don't like that. Okay? So what I do is I look at myself in the mirror and I pretend like I'm the biggest I'm the biggest boy on the whole world, okay? And I put my hands on my hips, and I say little catchphrases, like, to the top, you know? All incline, stuff like that, right? You know? How about, how about you know, put your, put, put your lips on my ellipsticle, is what I'll say, something like that. A lot of them are just, a lot of it's a work. A lot of it is just me saying that in the mirror. That's what I am doing in the gym. That's my workout. I'm working out clever, little, silly, um, uh, motivational quotes for myself for the next morning, okay? And when you come in and you're fucking juggling apples, all right, you make me feel like a goofball, okay? I need that time. It's the only place with 360 mirrors where I can see exactly how much work I need to do on my calves. And that's all I do. I do a few little a few little calf raises in the in the thing just to look at them. And then I, you know, pop around. I, I I'm mostly like inspecting the machines. That's that I that's that's pretty much what it looks like I'm doing when I'm at the gym. Okay? So just it would honestly just give me a rag and I will clean the gym. That I would that would probably I would probably be be in better shape now than I am if I actually attempted a workout. So how about you guys go find another... You're, you're wasting... I, it's the principle of it, really? Okay? All right? All right? I don't I don't brown nose, okay? I don't freaking snitch. All right? So that's it. I don't do that. That's not, that's not me, man. Don't, don't bring that on my name, all right? Or my... My, 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 my family's history, we're not snitches, but in my heart of hearts, I know 
that you are stealing company money. That is all you are doing. It's time theft. Time theft. All right? And I'm going to move off this subject now. I am. I think I made my point pretty clear. So to all of the housekeeping staff that listens to my podcast, knock it off. Quit it. It's like in the what happens here's what happens is in the morning you wake me up with by vacuuming my fucking door. You're literally hitting my door from the hallway. Even though it says do not disturb, you're still like, nah, but eh, technically the hallway is part of our jurisdiction. Like that's what you're doing with your stupid vacuum. You're trying to wake me up. You're trying to make me miserable, all right? So then I get up, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm going to go work out. And then I see you down in the gym. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go back up to my... Stop this. Stop it. You have the power to put an end to this. Quit it. You are bullying me with your cleaning supplies all over this hotel. Now, I don't mind being bullied, but not with a vacuum and a mop. I am the trash that you're just moving around the hotel. And I am white trash. And we're going to prove that here in a minute when I read you a bunch of Midwest phrases. All right? But I get to say it. Okay? Speaking of, let's do that. Let's get into some silly phrases here. Okay, guys. So I, what can I say? You know? What can I say? Here we go. Um, I'm from the Midwest, and I think it's really important that I bring my culture with me everywhere, all right? And people that are from the Midwest, I don't think they're as braggy about the fact that they are from the Midwest as, say, the South is. The South is so, they are just, it, it's just every time, it's like New Yorkers. Just, who cares? Okay, you were born into a place, and then what happened? You lived there? Holy shit. I am blown away that you proceeded to exist right where you came out of. Oh my goodness. And then what? Did you, did you, what? Were other people that were born there, were you the only one? Really? You were the only one in New York City that was born there? And then you were raised there too? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Yeah, most everybody else, you know, in a city of 13 million people, um, they all came from everywhere else. And they, it's actually, they were there to see you. They were like, how could someone's mom have done this? Is it true? Did they have to open one hospital bed for, for your mother to have lain birth to you? In this zip code? I guess it's got to... We, we should open Broadway now. My, that's what we should do. Let's put on shows for this kid who was born and raised here. Yeah. Let's do that. No, what about the Yanks? Let's they talk about the Yanks and the, and the Mets and the Knicks. Let's get a bunch of sports franchises in town. Let's do that for this one fucking kid who was born here and raised here and has to tell everybody all the time because that's their whole personality. Who gives a shit? All right? Anyway, I'm from Indiana. And <laughs> born and raised. Like, New York is, is a little like, you know, us versus us versus them type of mentality. You know what I mean? But people from the South... They, they do it as well, but it's a little bit friendlier. You know, they're a little bit like, you know, I was, I was, well, I was born on the, on the, on the corner of Arkansas and Honeydew Ave, you know, and they're like, okay, yeah, and Mrs., Mrs., Mrs. Richardson's pie every Sunday morning, you know, just before church, and you're like, all right, okay, I'm, I'm getting a little sense of who you are, I'm like, all right, that's cute, right, and so here's the thing. And then California, people from California are just like, yeah, whatever. Where, I mean, place is just a construct, so I don't really see it as, like, this is just my lifetime and the, 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 the pathway that I took in the quantum world. So technically, I, like, I'm also in New Mexico right now. That's, that's what people in California do, I think. All right. But here's some phrases that I came up with just to help. That's it. 
They're just to help. Okay? They're just to help. All right? Brush up. Brush up. That way when you visit Ohio and you don't have anything to do, then you can be like, well, I know these phrases and I can start talking to people. All right? And these are not phrases that are pr – people probably will not know what you're saying, but they will accept you more. And they'll be like, maybe there's something that I don't know. Okay? So let's get into it. If you're happy, if you're in a great mood, you say, I'm smiling like a pig at a vegan potluck. Yeah, that's what I say. When I'm in such a good mood, I, I literally say this as of, as of earlier this morning. I'm great. I'm like a, oh, I'm great. I'm like a vegan. I'm like a, I'm like a pig at a vegan potluck. That's what I say. Just like that, right? Because pigs do smile. And let's be honest, it is, it is just as cute as a dog's smile, okay? They're both, the, our days are tremendously better because of both of them, all right? Um, but they don't make, they don't make dog bacon. So, there's some humanity to who I am. <laughs> okay, that's stupid. Here we go. Um, bowling is a big thing in the Midwest, and you should know this. They have, like, and they do not update their bowling alleys, all right? It is, like, it is the same. That is the one piece of history. They're, they're, it's museums. They're interactive museums. That's what a bowling alley is. You go there, and you're like, oh, my God, that guy is 106 years old. That Literally, you, you make, that statue is, oh, my God, it's smoking. That's what it is. It's an interactive experience. It's the original Las Vegas sphere experience, Okay. And so the, because the Midwesters love their bowling, I have this one. Um, I'm hotter than a bowler's turkey. Okay. This works on two levels. All right. I'm hotter than a bowler's turkey. All right. Turkey, it's a food that you heat up. Um, if you get three strikes uh, in, in bowling, it's a turkey. Just trying, to, just trying to teach you the way, the way of the world. All right. And... When you say I'm hotter than that, it can apply to how you feel, right? Like, damn, I look at, I'm looking great. I look good. I'm hotter than a bowler's turkey. Um, or it can, it, and when it's mostly used, is probably in a bowling alley because none of them have air conditioning units that um, don't predate 1960. You would say it in the temperature way, which is I'm hotter than a bowler's turkey. Perfect. Moving on. Um, I'm cracking up like a Caucasian in the cold. It's about as simple as it, as it, as it sounds. Okay. All right. Cracking up, that's laughing. And yes, our skin is fragile. So we don't lotion our shit. And as you can see, we are 70 years old before we're 40. And I think that's the cold. Okay. All right. So I went back home recently uh, for for Christmas to visit family and my sister's older than me now. That's literally what the cold will do to white people. And we live there. I don't understand why. We're like, we're like, we're like ants, I guess. I think we, we think we're migrating to a better situation, but we're not even, we're not even putting a dent in it. You know what I mean? It's still just a hole in the ground, right? So I'm I'm cr I'm cracking up like a Caucasian in the cold. On a on a day where I on a day where I would stutter my ass off, that would have been, that one would have been tough. So I'm actually pretty. I'm just gonna move on. I'm not gonna say it again because I'm not sure I got another one in the queue. Here we go. Some sometimes you just meet a simpleton, right? Sometimes you just meet a simple folk. And they know it, and I I love a I love a a person who knows that they are simple, that level of self awareness to know that they're just here to learn, right? And sometimes they make very like they'll make very prolific observations, even about themselves, you know. And it, it's got a touch of Southern influence to it. All right, it's not full Midwest, okay. Midwesterners were put off by new ideas. We're a bit of, we're a bit, we're, 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 we're Luddites at heart. We're Luddites. Okay. 
We don't, the introduction of new ideas and, ooh, your fancy tablets, we're not really about that, all right? We want a cold, hard menu that we can paper cut our fingers on. That's what we like. We want it. We, the trust is in, is in the proof. We see it, all right? That's it. And that's why we have to go to church is because we, we, we have a tough time believing in God unless there's a guy that tells us that there is a guy, all right? So we have a guy for, for our God, that God has a guy, and that guy tells us all the time, and we go every week. All right. I re I genuinely I I'm I'm back in my grandma's room now. I don't know where I don't know how I got here. Oh yeah. Southern people. They they they're a bit they're a bit more, you know, they're a bit humbler, all right? They're a bit of a they're a bit of a humble bunch, okay? So they'll say some simple stuff sometimes. And we don't judge it because it is self-aware and that it cannot be taught. You know what I mean? I, I genuinely wish a Southerner would talk to a New Yorker. Just every now and then, just a Southern, well, 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 well boy, I, you know, well, I, 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 built a tr I built my truck like I, like I built my friendships or something. You know, they say something like that. That's not on the list. But, you know, that's just a freebie there. And then New Yorkers would be like, yeah, well, you know, always carry two knives. And you're like, okay, well, it's knives. But let me guess you've had one since you were young and that's because you were born and raised here oh yeah twist um here's what a, here's what somebody from the midwest could say with a touch of southern influence all right i'm talking about the southern side of indiana right on that getting in that kentucky sort of region a little bit Ooh, i can smell the bourbon Ooh, the fumes of a blanton's daddy okay here we go i'm luckier than a middle square on a bingo card If you listened closely just there, you could hear uh, an ambulance outside because someone's on their way to rescue this podcast, probably. I don't even know if this is a segment you're enjoying, but man, are we here. I'm luckier than a middle square on a bingo card. Pretty self-explanatory. Next one. And this is a doozy. I'm cooler than a family budget on vacation. Now. The reason that one is so important to this podcast here today, right now, live, is um, because whenever a family goes on vacation from the Midwest, we take our giant white cooler. All right? So when you say I'm cooler than a, a budget on a family vacation, it's everything, all the information that you need is there. In, in, in as few words as possible, all right? That's it. That's all you need, okay? So take that with you as you will. Take it into the world. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. You remember when you would try to, like, your parents try to sneak in a giant, like, it's yellow stained somehow, and you, like, it's like, it's weird on the top, and it's got, like, dead bugs in the in the crevice of the top of it, you know? And you open it, it's the most non-discreet, yeah, it's like, yeah, like that. You know, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? That cooler, and it's got like nine-day-old deli meat in it, and you're like, well, we're saving four dollars. You know what I mean? There's like a, there's like a, there's like a, there's like a half-drank Gatorade, but it's Powerade in it. You know what I mean? There's like a Gatorade and a Powerade bottle. It's insane what's in that cooler, right? There's like a dead baby. It's it's crazy, you know? And we're like, no, look, can we bring we just can we bring our own stuff? And Disney Disney World's like they they crack down on it now. They crack down on it now. Man, back in my day, you could you could take a you could you could you could pack your whole family in there. You could pack a whole family of of um Ice, of Icelandic people. Yeah, you could, you could, uh, you know, commerce, okay, Im -im -im import them from Iceland and import them into Disneyland, all right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, America s accepts all immigrants, but we say we don't, which is weird, because we definitely do. And it's only a problem if you are uh, a racist. So, um, but not really. I mean, it's, it's also, it's also, it's also a pretty big problem, but 
it's like weird. Uh, America's pretty selective, you know, on who gets to. America's like, all right, well, you know, like two French people, you guys are good. You know, we'll take like many Canadians. Almost every Canadian gets approved. Canadians can just just come downstairs for dinner. Don't worry, it's on us. We got you, Canada, for some stupid reason. And then, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like some European people come over, right? Yeah, okay, Eastern Europeans, you guys can come over, right? We need your help with, um, I don't know, laundromats. I, I, I don't know what Eastern Europeans do, right? But then they kind of crack down quite a bit. I mean, there is footage that supports this claim. Um, and I think that's just because Mexico borders Texas. That's it. Texas is, I can't get into Texas. And I live here. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I drive into Texas and they're like, why are you here, pussy boy? And you're like, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. I'm sorry about that. So don't feel bad, Mexico. Don't feel bad. What? I mean, that's, I think the worst part about, like, illegal immigrants is once you get here, you're in Texas. I mean, that's, you know, like, you get here and you're like, oh, that's, that is, did we end up, we ended up in white Mexico. Oh, God. That's, 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 oh, no. Right? Uh everybody has a everybody has a big gulp and a hat and a and a and a belt buckle and a and a loud truck. Oh no. Everybody has something dangling from their car mirrors. Help. Uh oh. There's a lot of signs in people's yards. Where am I? So don't feel bad. Okay. Not sure how we got here either, um, but I do know that that's how magical the 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 family cooler is. It can transport thoughts and dreams. You know, it can. It, it's a special special thing, right? Yeah. That thing. Here, I can do it again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I gotta practice that a little bit. Maybe more on my own time. But, you know, and like one of the latches is broken. You know what I mean? It takes like four family members to carry it into the to Sea World. You guys are carrying it like your pallbearers for 40. It's, it weighs a million pounds because there's a week full of three meals a day. There's 40 sub sandwiches and a and a and a box of pop tarts in there. Yeah. There, that's it. <laughs> so I still get this uh, quite a bit, and um, I don't know how to, I guess, address it because it's something that I'm trying to talk about in my stand up, but it's also something I'm trying to get away from too, because it's just like fucking, please go away. But. As you guys know, a lot of people, they call me the stuttering comedian um, because for a long time, you know, I did. Um, and sometimes I still do. I'm sure you've heard it. And I wouldn't mind being called that if it didn't sound like I was the main event of a sideshow in a traveling circus. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't it sound like, Hear ye, hear ye, feast your eyes on the bumbling and fumbling stuttering comedian. For just 30 cents, you can see him perform three minutes of material for 20 minutes. Come, you know, doesn't it feel like that, right? Like after me, like, like Siamese twins come out and, 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 and swallow knives, right? It feels like that a little bit. And it just, it's weird that. I, this is the only profession where someone could just openly say your disability to you because you make jokes about it. That's insane. You know what I mean? Like, are you the stuttering comedian? 
And I don't know. By the way, that's not a hate crime to say, are you the stuttering comedian? That is not a hate crime. But I am 100% sure that that is how they start. Tell me that that's not how hate crimes start. Is, 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 is someone saying, hey, is that that? And then they insert whatever the prejudice thing is, followed with, get him. That is a hate crime. That is exactly how it starts. Step one, ask out loud to a group of people if that is that thing. Step two, announce your attack. So uh, forgive me if I'm a little on the, I'm a little on the defensive from how abrasive the question is of, are you that stuttering comedian? And then I've brought this up before, but I'm not super thrilled at the idea of people telling me to my face that they missed when I stuttered. I missed it when you stuttered. Well, um, I liked it. The book, I liked it better when you stutter. I had a guy the other day in the airport. He's like, oh man, yeah, you got, you, you sound great. And I was like, oh, thanks. Right. Should have been done there. Should have been just done right there. But dudes, for some reason, ha again, we have no fucking thoughts. And the ones that we have are like, oh, this, I guess goes outside now. Right. <clears throat> it happens so, so seldom that we're like, let's make it a, let's make it something everybody knows. So it should have just been done there. Right. And he goes, he goes, hey, he goes you got, yeah, you sound great. And I was like, oh, oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. He goes, ah, I did like it better when you stuttered, though. And, I was, and, and I'm like, in my head, because again, I, I have that ability to just keep my thoughts to myself, except for later on my podcast right now. I'm like, yeah, I liked it better when I could say a fucking sentence all the way. That's what I liked. I liked it better when I could tell people out loud um, that I don't fucking uh, like when they say dumb things like this. That's what I like. I liked it better. I, here's what I liked you. I liked you better when you were over there. I actually liked you better when, when, when I didn't know much about you at all. When you were just guy over at the slot machine in the Vegas airport. That's what I liked. I didn't mess with you at all. I didn't care about you at all. But now, you have now, like... Set, now I've now I have the ability to be able to speak my mind. You get what I'm saying? This is the problem now. I have years and years of anger just in the queue <laughs> from not being able to say anything. You know what I mean? It's like I was it's like I was I was in I was like I was innocent and I was locked up and everybody's you know everybody's just fucking life is just passing me by and I'm like eh, it's okay <laughs> I'll just fucking do it right. I'm just working out like Nick Cage and Con Air, just working out in my cell. To the day I got released. To go find my wife's killer or whatever. That's literally what it feels like. Now I have now I have the ability to be able to say the things and with which the speed I want to be able to say them and disagree with them too. Because before I was always agreeable because that was easier. It was fewer words to be like, ah, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't fucking do that now. Now I've, I, I think, I think, I, I'm like Michael Jordan. Revenge. Uh, it, anger has resentment has been what has driven me to work on this every single day. Okay. It's so, it's so I didn't, so my day traveling wasn't, wasn't, wasn't fucked up for the rest of the day. Now I have the option to say, Hey man, that's not a very nice thing to say. Maybe spend some time with your thoughts a little bit first before you say them. Okay. I liked you better over there. That's the craziest thing, man. People are, people, pe eh, 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 and it was, and it was like, it was a problem when I stuttered. It was a stuttering problem. And I don't say like, oh, it was just my problem. When you stutter, it is everyone's problem. Okay. But, but a lot of people, they don't want, like it, it, I was, people were impatient. It's like people are impatient when I stutter. And then they're indignant when I don't. People are upset that I, oh no, I wanted to see myself have a, a some, some bit of a quality of life. Some improvement of quality of life for the, for the back half of it. Holy shit. How dare I? How could I? You know, stuttering is a lot like being pregnant. 
Nobody is going to, nobody wants to help you out with it. But then they get angry when you get rid of it. Anyway, I was a real angry boy for that so that part there. Sorry about that. Um, but it's called Did I Stutter? So I don't, f I don't care. All right. I don't care. Ew. Remember those things? Ew. I'm not good with the sound effects today, guys. I'm sorry about that. That thing. You know? It's like when your when your um uncle yawns. It's like that. That thing. For just 45 tickets at Chuck E. Cheese. This is how we do it. We didn't have too many segments this time, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're okay. Okay, BB. We're okay. Speaking of airports, this is what I think we need. Um, how about we print... TSA pre-check a little bit bigger on the ticket. How about we do that? That way, Edith at TSA security checkpoint doesn't have to put on nine pairs of readers and slow down the line to read the, the, the size 8 font that's behind the text of the ticket that says TSA pre-check. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're good. Wait, you're good. Have them have your tickets ready and and hold them under a magnifying, please. Please have your magnifying glasses ready for me, and a light. Is that does that TSA? Okay, you can go through. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. This is a this is an American Airlines ticket. It's weird. Hang on. Okay, you're good. What is that? The poor lady. She got she got. She's five minutes away from cataracts. Give her, let her fucking, please, just find, pr big it, make it bigger. All right? Story of my life of the things my wife says. Anyways, guys, it's been a rather ranty episode. I kind of enjoyed it. I got through it a bunch of times, and I had a good time. I know, like, I got, I know, like, I sound like I got um, all uh, hopped up on um, cane sugar. But I, but I'm fine. I'm fine, and I enjoyed this episode. We will see you next week. Hopefully, I'll see you on tour. I know tickets for Boston are like flying off the griddle, like um, like uh, uh, French toast, which I think is better than pancakes. Uh, but maybe I'll get to see you soon. Okay, I love you guys. We'll chat with you next week. Okay, bye. -bye. <laughs>